The VersaPulse Power Suite 100 Watt Holmium Laser is best known for its urologic applications, treating BPH, stones, tumors, and strictures. This powerful system can deliver 100 watts of laser power with a repetition rate of up to 50 Hz and pulse energies as high as 3.5 joules. The system setup includes five simple steps. 1. Connecting the foot switch. 2. Connecting the fiber. The VPPS 100 watt system is optimized for use with the Slimline family of disposable or reusable fibers. For Holep, the Slimline 550 micrometer is the most suitable fiber. 3. Turning the system on using the key switch. 4. System parameters are easily adjusted using the touchscreen. For Holup, the recommended settings are 2 joules and 50 hertz for a total power of 100 watts. 5. Switch the status of the system to ready and press the foot switch to start lasing. Visualization of the anatomy is initially performed with the resectoscope in the bladder, locating the ureteral orifices. The resectoscope is then pulled back into the prostatic fossa to assess the extent of lobar hypertrophy and confirm the location of the vera montanum and the external sphincter. Since HOLEP is performed using saline for irrigation, there is no risk for TUR syndrome. During the enucleation, the laser settings are adjusted to 2 joules and 50 hertz for a total power of 100 watts. Beginning at the level of the bladder neck at the 7 o'clock position, a groove is formed by cutting with the laser along the sulcus to a point just lateral and proximal to the vera montanum. This groove is deepened to the level of the surgical capsule of the prostate. Dissection of the right lobe is started by proceeding lateral to the vera montanum in a transverse fashion. Laser settings are adjusted to an energy of 2 joules and a frequency of 20 hertz during the process of apical dissection to prevent thermal injury to the sphincter. Risk of thermal damage is minimized due to the Holmium laser low penetration into the tissue. Switch back to 2 joules and 50 to 40 hertz when away from the sphincter and continuing with the dissection. The groove should be defined initially with the tip of the laser fiber and then widened and deepened with the beak of the scope down to the level of the surgical capsule. Dissection in this plane is continued, staying between the apical tissue of the right lobe and the capsule by rotating the resectoscope in a clockwise direction during cutting. The lateral dissection continues in a circular fashion beyond the 12 o'clock position. The lateral and anterior wall of the right lobe is then freed from the surgical capsule by proceeding along the already defined plane. The dissection continues anteriorly and proximally until reaching the bladder neck. For the 12 o'clock incision and the creation of the anterior groove, the laser settings are adjusted to 2 joules and 50 hertz. Turning the resectoscope 180 degrees and starting at the bladder neck, a groove is cut along the anterior commissure until the level of the vera montanum is reached. Again, when working close to the sphincter area, you may want to modify the laser settings to 2 joules and 20 hertz to prevent external thermal damage. Starting at the 12 o'clock position and moving laterally, any remaining attachments at the floor of the capsule and the posterior bladder neck are divided. The right lobe is then carefully pushed into the bladder using the beak of the resectoscope. The plane between the left lobe and the floor of the surgical capsule is defined by cutting laterally from the vera montanum in a transverse fashion. The median lobe is dissected along with the left lateral lobe. Dissection of the median lobe, the left lobe apex, anterior portion of the lobe, and division of the remaining attachments at the bladder neck are done using the same technique used for the right lobe. When completed, the lobes are again pushed into the bladder using the beak of the resectoscope. Holep is suitable for any size of prostate, as the procedure removes the lobes from the capsule, regardless of their size. Before the morselation is started, it is important to inspect the prostatic fossa and achieve hemostasis in order to optimize visualization. The VersaCut tissue morselator is used to morselate the prostate tissue safely and quickly. The setup includes a rigid offset nephroscope with a 5mm working channel which is inserted into the outer resectoscope sheath. 
The blade of the morselator is then inserted through the working channel and into the bladder. Under direct visualization, the tip of the morselator is inserted into the bladder and portions of the adenoma are suctioned towards the blade. Once a portion of adenoma is engaged by the morselator, the morselator blades are activated. This part of the procedure is safely performed by keeping the tip of the morselator anteriorly within the bladder and within the visual field at all times. The collected tissue can then be sent to the lab for histology. Following the procedure, patients are typically discharged from the hospital within 23 hours. Holmium laser enucleation of the prostate, since it's all about your patients.